Welcome! This video will demonstrate how to adjust analog input scaling for your Fusion or Compact Fusion controller. Each controller uses two analog set points, and both can be configured for either current or voltage. Current can be adjusted from 0 to 20 milliamps, and voltage from 0 to 10 volts DC. Our default factory settings have set point 1 configured for 4 to 20 milliamps current input and set point 2 configured for 0 to 5 volts DC voltage input. With SCR controllers, you encounter a lot of different requirements, so our goal is to show you how to adjust analog input scaling so you can adapt it to whatever you need. Before we begin, you will need to install the Fusion Control Panel software, which is provided free with your controller. Connect power to your controller and connect to your computer using a USB cable. Open the Fusion Control Panel program. Now let's look at three typical scenarios. First, we will change the input from voltage to current. Select the Connect button on the left-hand side of your screen to access the controller. Next, choose the System tab. You should see analog set points on the bottom third of your screen. Now first, we'll change voltage to current, as you see here. For our demonstration, we're going to use 4 to 20 milliamps as our input command signal. So enter 4 as the off-state signal, and 20 as the full-on signal. We are now configured for 4 to 20 milliamp input. Now let's switch from current to voltage settings. For this demonstration, we will be using 0 to 10 volts DC command signal. Select voltage and use 0 and 10 as the off and full on voltage values. We'll repeat it in the second set point. The controller is now configured for a 0 to 10 volts DC command signal. Finally, we will correct for span and offset on analog command signals. Nominally, our PLC should output 0 to 5 volts per command signal, but in reality, it's only running at 0 0.01 in off state and 4.91 in full on state. We can see the effect in the upper left corner. With full on power, we are only getting 98%. So to correct for these signaling errors, we need to adjust scaling. Let's enter 0 0.01 as the off-state value, and 4.91 as the full-on value. And that's it! In just a few straightforward steps, the controller is adjusted in real time to your new settings. Now that you've made changes, you might want to save these new settings as a config file for future reference and use. For more detailed instructions, visit our website at www.cciPower.com and download the Fusion Control Panel Manual, or contact the experts at Control Concepts Incorporated.